This is the StudioFiles.com video on drum editing in Pro Tools LE. Now, if you haven't watched our previous movies on track grouping and keyboard focus, I would suggest you watch those first just so you have a basis for the skills that we're going to be applying in this video. Now, I'm going to cover two different types of drum editing. The first is going to be multi-track editing, where we're going to fix timing with nudges. Let's zoom in. I've made a marker where I felt that there was a little timing errors. Let's listen. Yeah, right in here, it seems like the drums are getting a little sluggish. Let's listen to them again. So let's start with this first kick drum here. I'm going to zoom in with the F5 zoom tool. This kick right here seems like it's falling a little bit behind. So I'm going to separate with the B key. Notice that my nudge amount is at 100 samples, just like we talked about in the last video. And now I'm going to nudge that back just 100 samples, so one click. And let's zoom out with the R key, and let's, let's see what that did. Yeah, this kick is better. Now the next kick is also behind, so let's separate that with the B key. And let's move that back 200 samples. And let's listen to that. Again, better. Now the snare here and this kick, they're both behind, so we're going to separate those together and move them, although it sounds like the snare may need to be moved a little bit by itself too. So we're going to take that region and with the comma key we're going to nudge it back 200 samples. And let's take the snare and separate it and move it back just one more click. Let's see how that sounds. Yeah, it's a lot better. There's still a little work that we could do and the guitars probably need a little editing, but this will get us a good start. now. <clears throat> What you need to do now is crossfade everything, just like we did in the Logic video, only Pro Tools doesn't do it automatically for you. So, highlight the region's overlap and hit F. Again here. Now in this final edit we're doing here, notice how there's space in between the two regions. Don't worry, that's okay. As long as you highlight through them and then hit F, Pro Tools will still merge the regions for you. All right, let's zoom out. All right, now we're going to go on to the second type of editing, which is just replacing a single drum rather than editing all your drums at once. And I have a spot marked here, so let's zoom in. Let's listen to this. Yeah, right on this snare here, it seems as though the drummer flams it or hits it a little bit funny. Listen one more time. So what we can do is just take this snare hit and replace it on top of this one. Now down in your edit groups window be sure to disable the all drums because we just want to affect the snare. We have a snare top and snare bottom mic so our snares group still needs to be selected. Let's select the good snare drum hit over here that we're going to steal. Separate it with the B key and using the grabber tool F8 hold option and drag the new snare over the bad one. Okay, now we just need to make sure it's lined up. So let's zoom in with the F5 tool. And I'm going to use the Edge Edit tool, which is F6, to drag this edge back. And let's look at the original hit. And you just need to make sure that your new hit that you dragged in is lined up. It looks like we need to go back a little bit. So I'm just going to nudge it back. Maybe just one click looks good. And create our fades, just like we did on the multi-track. And zoom out and we'll listen to it. That's a lot better. Okay, so now you know how to do two different types of drum editing. The first we showed you was multi-track drum editing, where you're going to nudge all the drums at once to fix timing. And the second type we showed you was to replace a bad drum hit, or like in the Logic video, there was noise on the low time track. You can also cut tracks this way.